Since 1998, law enforcement officials in Wisconsin have had access to driver's license photos stored at the Department of Transportation for use in investigations, traffic stops, and more. In 1998, law enforcement made 17 requests all year for driver's license photos using this paper system. An electronic access system was created in 2009 and requests for driver's license photos increased to more than 9,000. By 2013, electronic requests for driver's license photos had skyrocketed to more than 200,000. Representative Dean Knutson, Republican from Hudson, is concerned about the spike in the number of requests and the apparent lack of privacy protections built into the program. I think people are very sensitive right now about their privacy and about electronic uh, means of, of, of having your, your privacy invaded. Um, and we really deserve to have safeguards. Representative Knutson is also alarmed at the lack of legislative oversight. DOJ said that they were prohibited from sharing information with the legislature by state law, that they could not share with me the reasons that these photos were being requested. And I think that's a problem. The law specifically prohibits the use of driver's license photos in what is called a photo array, where photos are used for a criminal lineup instead of real people. There are concerns, however, that some police officers may be in fact using driver's license photos for just that. Back when we had the written request, we also had very strong protections and controls about that they weren't to be used in what's called a photo array, which is a, a, you know, a photo lineup situation. Um, our controls are weaker on that now, and I think they should be stronger than they are. Um, there's really, when we talked with law enforcement, several of them actually said that this is one of the reasons that they like to download photos because they, um, you know, one of the uses that it can be put to is as a photo array. Knutson has run into many roadblocks while investigating the spike in photo requests because the Department of Justice will not release the reasons why the photo has been requested. We think that there ought to be some greater safeguards and there ought to be some uh, uh, legislative oversight. I think we should have specific purposes that they're going to put the photo to that they have to check the box and say, here's why we need it. The representative would like to see the program halted while he drafts legislation to address privacy concerns and to add legislative oversight. For the McIver Institute, I'm Nick Novak.